Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to a new update video. Um, we just got hit with a new patch note. It's not super recent. I think it came out yesterday, like yesterday night or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's 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 some news. It's some news because we're we're gonna be able to get um, skins for our, our monsters or cosmetics. I think they they call it costumes. Um, this is something that I've I guess I think MSL really should have done a long time ago because I always thought their their strongest. The, the strongest point about MSL is like their their uh, their visuals, you know, like they actually make really really nice looking monsters. They also have like really really cool animations. Um, you know, I always talk about this, like when the first time I did clan battles, when they made, made the animation with the two ships, ships crashing into each other, it looked really epic and it, it just got me like really really excited. You know, nowadays like clan battles isn't that exciting, but like the first time you saw it, it was it was actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think I think cosmetics for like any game is like a really really easy way to for the companies like to make money, but at the same time not like break the balance of the game. You can look at a lot of games like uh, League of Legends and stuff. Like they sell skins and they they make a shit ton of money, but it doesn't break the game at all because it's only visuals. Um, I think this is a pretty pretty good way to go. And the really good news about this is they they actually made it um, so. Free to play players can actually eventually, after a long time, get get these costumes. They won't be able to like buy them all, but they will be able to buy some of them, maybe their favorite one or something like that. Because um, I think they're purchased with this mysterious fabric. Fabric? I can't talk right now. Um, and they 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 come from the um, they come from the 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 shop. Um, so I guess you can buy them with money. And you can also buy them with crystals, and you can also get them from logging in, um, the monthly login. And you will also be able to get them um, from bingo as well, so that's actually pretty nice. But yeah, you'll you'll be able to dress up Miho. I think I said they, they always start with Miho because Miho is like their signature monster. Um, but yeah, I... You know, you know what I always wanted? I wanted to be able to turn my Evil 3 monsters back to an Evil 2. You can kind of do that with Super Evil, but you can't do it with all the monsters. So I'm kind of waiting for certain monsters to be able to do that. Um, but maybe one day. I don't know if this is going to be used on like only Super Evil monsters, or just any Mihos. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but we'll, we'll be able to see very, very soon. Um, Next thing is they have this new monster, this, this, uh, what are, what are they called? They're called Kikis. Yes, they're called Kikis. Um, yeah, they're, they're basically these, like, Nekomimis, and <laughs> it's, you, you, I, I just need to say something, like, you, Nekomimis are, like, pretty basic, like, it's, it's, at, at this point, they're really, really basic. But you really can't go wrong with them, especially when you make them a maid as well. It's like, it's like stacking cat ears with maid. Like you just, it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's too OP, you know. Um, they have this, they have this video now with with the um, animations. I'm gonna stop my music so we can watch this, and it actually shows all the animations of of the. They actually have this broom, or maybe it's a mob. Alright, their, their first go animation looks pretty nice. I mean, it's no Chloe, but like, it's uh... It's still pretty nice, and I think these monsters are going to be the next event monsters, so we'll all be able to get them. And the four star and um, the four star version of the monsters, I mean the light dark versions of the monsters are four stars, so so that that would actually be pretty good. The volume of this video might be too loud. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. So this is their active skill. So 
they do like this sweeping skill and then like when a, a gust of wind comes out. You know what I always felt was a waste? Um, they have to make different animations for the different evolution states of the monsters, but most people only use the Evil 3. So I always thought that like if they just change the visuals to be Oh that one looked really cool. That like the the Evil 1 version of the, the animation actually looks better than the Evil 3. So like I feel like it's a waste um, for people that want maybe like the animation more of the Evil 1 or the Evil 2 versions of certain monsters. Um, I, th I thought it would always be like a really good option for people to be able to just change the visuals back to like the evil one um, they don't even need to make anything new because it's not like it's it's a separate skin they they just have to like you know it's already in the game like the animations the the models and everything um but yeah um they also added seven new synergy bonuses um i guess this this is to go with the new monsters and maybe some of the old ones as well um and new daily attendance rewards um but what is this daily attendance seven day re existing advanced secret of secrets i have no idea what that is so basically yeah these monsters are going to be capturable on the on the normal maps um when a clan member graduates and leaves the clan and joins again he receives one million gold same clan and clan regardless of the payment one time only so i guess this is to encourage people to be apprentices um add up the clan attendance bonus score okay i have no idea how how the clan attendance thing works we're gonna have to wait for the that to come out before we can actually see it um all right so that's that's pretty much it for the the post on cafe neighbor if you guys don't know what this is this is this is a korean site where they um, post a lot of their new updates and stuff. It's in Korean. I used Google Translate to translate to English. Um, but we do have this Reddit post by Elki Times 3 and he actually translated a lot of this stuff, um, the skills of the new Kiki. So we'll, we'll be able to take a look at that as well. I also have the their stats at um, when they're at different levels over here. Um, this is also from Cafe Naver. So we'll be able to see them. I'll include a link to, to the sites um, below so you guys can actually go in and, and take a look if you really really want to so yeah we'll we'll take a look at the fire one first it's a balance type um it's 100 percent shield shield break and a 70 percent um two turn defense down they are aoe as you saw from the video um 70 is not too bad the shield break is i guess you can use for toc um not really too good for dungeons like shield break yeah shield break is a pretty weak skill i feel like buff break and shield break should actually be the same skill so they can break all types of debuffs it's kind of weird that they separated the skills into two um stat wise she she is a three star she is a natural three star um, i think she's balance type it looks like she's balance type and yeah her stats are just like kind of all over the place um you mostly want to use her for her debuffs i guess maybe she's usable you can use her for tlc if you don't have a cosmo or if you don't have like very strong dark attackers but i don't think she's that useful late game the water one is or yeah the water one should be next yes the water one's a buff breaker with a um, 70 percent two turn blind um i think she's actually tankier she's a little bit tankier uh, she is a three star if you are missing a blind monster on your on your titans team um, for the water element, you can use her. I think there's a few blind monsters, um, like Water Neza or something like that. Uh, blind's not that important of a debuff skill. Like it's more important to have defense down and attack down, and and then you can have blind afterwards. Um, but if you're missing, if you have like defense down, and attack down, you're missing a blind. Then I guess you can use her. You don't really. Yeah, you don't. She, she has some use because like titan monsters aren't um you don't have to be that strict with their stats like as long as they have good good skills um you will be able to make use of them so i guess she's kind of useful if you if you want to build one um the wood one is a is an attacker with uh with 100 percent petrify and a 30 percent hunter which actually is very very strong um 
I think she's very, very similar to like the Wood Wild thing with the Petrify. And her 100% Petrify, um, it, it goes on crit, which I, I think is pretty fair. This way you can make her reliable for dragons. And she also happens to be an attacker. Um, and she has 2700 base attack. Yes, over here, 2700 base attack. Um, which is actually kind of the only stat that matters if you want to bring her into Dragon's B10. I don't know the leader skill of the, the Kikis. I can't read this. Maybe someone else can read this, but I, I have no idea what their leader skills are. Um, but if, if it's an offensive one, then I guess she'll be really, really good. Like if it's an attack or a crit damage lead for dungeons, um, then, then I think that'll be really, really nice. Um, it's 30 to 35. But I don't. It could possibly be attack. It's either attack, defense, or it can't be. Wait, it can It could also be recovery. I, I have no idea. I can't read this. Um, but yeah, you can use her as your 100% CC monster. So say for example, you don't have like um, a Spark Hit, a Dark Victoria, a Wood Yaksha. You could kind of use her instead. Um, you can also pair her up with a Wood Yaksha because the Wood Yaksha has sleep, and sleep breaks on on hit. So. Um, you can use her to attack first, and then use the Yaksha to attack after. To, um, yeah, you can you can you can do that. You can have her attack first, and then have the Yaksha attack after. This way, one of them can land the the CC um, on certain monsters. If you really need to do that, like say for example on the first stage, it's mostly for the light purse on the first stage. For the second stage, you can have them attack different units and stun different units. So she she does have some use in Dragon's B10. I think she's pretty good. Repl uh, she's a pretty good replacement for people that don't have like Light Medusa, Light Spark It, um, Dark Victoria. I guess you could use Wood Yaksha. Like maybe you have a Wood Yaksha but you don't have a second CC monster then she can kind of be your second one. Um, so yeah I think she's pretty nice. The Light one is a... Um, she has a new skill called Expose Weakness and from from this post, it says that Exposed Weakness basically makes the next attack hit harder, but it only lasts for one attack. So I'm not sure it's uh, if how much it does, but if it's like a really really big increase, I guess I guess it could be really really good. So basically, she's like a debuffer. Um, hmm. Exposed Weakness. Maybe you can stack that with with uh, defense down and just do like a lot of damage. And her second skill is a 70% um, shock. Maybe in like early game PvP, she'll be somewhat useful. Um, I'm not too sure for dungeon. Maybe maybe manualing something. Like maybe if you want to use her for like dragons B7 or something, you can like expose weakness and then nuke the dragon. But if you have dark attackers, you can nuke that dragon pretty easy as well. So I'm not too sure. Um, because you have to land this before you attack, so, so uh, I'm not too sure if it's gonna be too good on on auto unless she has like their attack animations don't seem like that fast to be be able, be able to land this first and then have another monster attack. So um, we'll we'll see we'll see. Maybe it does like double damage or something like that. Then then it'll be like extremely strong. Um, but yeah, she has pretty nice stats, very good defensive stats, um, low recovery, decent amount of attack, so she might be of some use, maybe. Um, but yeah, not not too bad. The, the Dark One is actually really, really strong. Dark One's an Adrenaline Predator. She's very, very similar to the Dark Sarah, and she has very high attack. She has 3,357. Um, and the other two stats don't matter that much. Her recovery is pretty low. Uh, she's relatively tanky, like, you know, decent amount of defense, decent amount of HP. And she has adrenaline, which basically heals herself. And she also has the 30% predator, which uh, makes her a pretty good farming monster. I think she's also very good for arena offense because of the adrenaline. Um, it's like self-sustain plus a bar boost. So yeah, I think, I think this one's like really, really good. Um, she's basically another really strong dark attacker. Uh, there's really not much to say. Like when you have a dark attacker that has like predator, hunter, um, elemental edge, you know, stalker. They're all really, really strong. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for for all the new monsters. Um, they have really nice stats and. Uh, 
I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to, to collecting them because they they're they're useful and they they look really nice um, at the same time. Hopefully, you don't have to like buy them with astrogens. But even if you had to buy them with astrogens, I'd probably buy a dark one. Um, I I'd, I'd rate them as dark being the best. Probably I, I would actually say wood is second, and then light, and then water, then fire. Um, but yeah, besides that, it's pretty. It's pretty much it. Um, big shout shout out to Elki times three for translating, or else I wouldn't be able to read this. I'd be like using Google Translate. I'd I'd be using that app where like you point your phone at like some text and then like it translate it tr translates it. If, if it wasn't for that, but yeah. Anyways, that's that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to take a look at the new patch, and um, it should be coming out very very soon. Um, the new monsters won't be out yet, but the costumes will. I'm still kind of broke at the moment, so I, I probably can't afford this, but um, one day, one day, maybe one day. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.